My name is Sarah Perkins, and I taught my lesson to a second grade class. My lesson was about shapes. While brainstorming, I had to think about whether I should teach my lesson on math or English. I also had to think about the limitations I had on both time and supplies available. I ultimately decided to teach my lesson on shapes. When planning for my lesson, I met with my cooperating teacher about incorporating art into a classroom lesson. She suggested that I do an art incorporated lesson in math. We talked about ways to incorporate art into math, and we talked about the supplies that were available in the classroom, as well as time limitations. Materials needed for this lesson were crayons, colored pencils, construction paper, shape walk worksheet, shapes template, and scissors. The engagement portion of my lesson, I showed the students three pieces of art. I told them to take two to three minutes observing the art. After they observed for a couple minutes, I asked them some questions about what comes to mind when you look at the art. I asked them, what do you see? What colors and shapes do you notice? What comes to mind when you look at the painting? Is there anything that stands out to you and does the painting remind you of anything? In the exploration portion of my lesson, I had the students work in small groups. In small groups, the students were given copies of the three paintings that we had just discussed and observed in whole group setting. In small groups, they were to use the shape walk paper and they were to write down the shapes that they see and how the artist used them to create the picture. They were to choose two paintings to talk about and discuss in their small group. In their small group, they were also told to count the number of shapes in two of the paintings and then add that number together to get the total number of shapes used for the two paintings. As the students worked on this, I walked around and monitored and kept, made sure that they maintained on task. For the explanation part of my lesson, I told the students that now that you have seen how these artists have used shapes to create their work and identified the shapes that were used, we were going to talk about these shapes. I told the students about the different shapes and the characteristics that they hold. After we finished going over each shape, I showed them an example of how I use shapes to create art. After I showed and discussed my artwork with the students, I told them that they were going to create their own piece of art using shapes. For the elaboration part of my lesson, I told the students that now that I have shown you my art that I created using shapes, it's now your turn to create your own piece of art using shapes. Each group will get papers that have many shapes on it, and you will use those shapes to create your artwork. You can use as many shapes as you want. I also told them that your art cannot look like your neighbors because I want to see your creativity and I want to see what you can do. Once you have created your artwork, I want each of you to share your art with the class and talk about how you use the shapes to create your picture. Once each group member is done, you will count. I told them that you will count the number of shapes on the paper and add your entire group numbers together and share with the class how many shapes your group was able to use to create y'all's artwork. For the evaluation portion of my lesson, I had each student share their work of art and explain how they use shapes to create their artwork. Once each student had shared their work, I had each group discuss and tell the class how many shapes they used. Once we finished, we did a number talk using the numbers that each group came up with. As I look back on my lesson, I think about how much more I would have been able to do if I was given more time. I thought the students' art looked great, and I was very proud of the work that they did. The students really enjoyed creating art using shapes and they loved the different type of lesson that they got to experience.